Here we have God speaking to Abram, who is now in the place where his father settled. And he says, get up. I'm not going to tell you where. I'll just tell you when you get there that you're there. Because I told your father where to go. See, people want to, they want to believe in faith. Oh, I have the faith for this. I got the faith for that. But they remove one of the key factors of faith, which is your obedience. God expects you to do what he told you to do the way that he told you to do it. And I've seen it time and time again. People who struggle in their faith, they've been believing God for something and it never shows up. It's usually because they refuse to do what God has told them to do. And they're dishonorable towards the things of God, towards the people of God. And they don't understand why their manifestation never comes. God let Terah stop in Haran and stay there. God didn't force him. He just said, okay, I'm done talking to you. Now I'll talk to your son and tell him to go. And now his son immediately jumps up and leaves. Not knowing where he was going, having no indication of what that's going to be. He said, but if you go, if you go, I'll bless people who bless you. He said, if you go, I'll curse people who curse you. See, if you do it his way, he'll bless people that bless you. If you do it his way, he'll curse people that curse you. See, but so many people want to go the world's way. They, they want to chase after a job. They want to chase after stuff. They go after the world's way, and then they wonder why when the job begins to hurt them and people at the job begin to come against them, and they stand up and say, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, and their prayers fall to the ground like lead balloons. There's no power there. Why? Because you put something before your God. When God is in charge, he is the one who will cause people, whoever comes against you, he will curse them because you are walking in his divine favor because you are obedient to what he's told you to do. Now when you come against me, woe be unto you. I feel sorry for you because I followed. And people think, well, my faith can just get me out of... And if every decision you make, you set things in motion, why do you think the first thing God said to him is, Go. I don't know where I'm going. I don't even know why I'm going. Go. I want to see what's in your heart. I want to see if I can trust you. I want to see if you're a person of character. I want to see if you're a person of integrity. I want to see if you can move when everybody hates you. I want to see if you can leave your Isaac. I want to see, are you the person of trust? I want to see, are you a person of character? I want to see how you handle disappointment. I want to see how you handle problems. I want to see how you handle your fellow brethren. I want to know, are you a person that if I pour out the blessings upon your life, will it change you? Well, you become so high and mighty in your own mind. He said, I want you to sacrifice the very thing that I gave you that you've been asking for. You waited all this time to get it. And he said, the Lord will see to it. And when he went to raise his hand to sacrifice his son, the angel said, stop. Now I know that you are a man who could be trusted. Now I know you are willing to give me your all in all. <clears throat> Don't kill your son. I was just playing. There's a ram caught in a thicket. Do you think that ram would have lasted forever caught in that thicket? Or do you think God said, as soon as Abraham said, we getting up early in the morning, God went to that ram and said, okay, come on, let's go up the mountain. It'll take you about <clears throat> two and a half days. He's going to get there on the third day. You'll be right where you need to be. You'll be right where you need to be when I've seen to it. But no, 
you still at the camp. You back at the house. You want my what? <clears throat> and that ram's up there sitting there waiting. <laughs> and you still trying to process it. <clears throat> then you got to go to somebody else, one of your demonic friends. I feel like God's telling me to. And they're like, oh, that was just pizza and Pepsi. <clears throat> You got offended and angry, and now you put the brakes on. <clears throat> While the ram is sitting up there. <laughs> and then you finally decide, I'm going to go ahead and do what God told me to do. And you get up to the top of the mountain, and you go to raise your hand, and ain't nobody there. And then you want to say, well, I was following God. I did everything God told me to do. What's your Isaac? Isaac.